final stages are used to describe the process of decomposition in vertebrate animals, fresh, bloat, active decay, advanced decay, and dry remains. The general stages of decomposition are coupled with two stages of chemical decomposition. Two words I can't read. These two stages contribute to the chemical process of decomposition, in which, which breaks down the many components of the body with death and mic the microbiome of the living organism collapses and is followed by the necrobiome that undergoes predictable changes over time. Fresh. Among those animals that have a heart, the fresh stage begins immediately after the heart stops beating. From the moment of death, the body begins cooling and warming to match the temperature of the ambient environment. During a stage called algomortis, shortly after death, within three to six hours, the muscular tissue becomes rigid and incapable of relaxing. During the stage called rigor, rigor mortis, since blood is no longer being pumped through the body, gravity causes it to drain to the dependent portions of the body, creating an overall bluish purple discoloration teamed termed liver mortis or more commonly lividity. Uh, I don't know if I pronounced that right. Once the heart stops, the blood can no longer supply oxygen or remove carbon dioxide from the tissue. The resulting decrease in pH and other chemicals causes cells to lose their structural integrity, bringing, bringing about the release of cellular en enzymes capable of initial initializing and breaking down the surrounding cells and tissue. This process is known as autolysis. Visible changes caused by decomposition are limited during the fresh stage, although autolysis may cause blisters appearing on the surface of the skin. Uh, a small amount of oxygen remaining in the body is quickly depleted by cellular, meta by cellular metabolism and aerobaric microbes naturally present in two words I can't pronounce, creating an ideal environment for the proliferation of another word I can't pronounce. These multiple, th these multiply the second, what? Ah! These multiply, consuming the body's other word I can't mean, more word and proteins, there we go, to process a variety of substances including propinic acid, lactic acid, methane, hydrogen sulfate, and ammonia to produce a microproliferation within the body is referred to as another word I can't pronounce and leads to the second stage of decomposition known as bloat. Low flies and fresh fries are fresh fries. Flash flies are the first current interests to arrive and they seek suitable ovi, <laughs> ovi positions. So, <laughs> funny word. Bloat. The bloat stage provides the first clear visual signs of microbial proliferation is underway. In this stage, anaerobic metabolism takes place, leading to the an accumulation of gases such as hydrogen sulfate, carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrogen. The accumulation of gases within the body causes a distension of the abdomen and gives a and gives a cadaver of this overall bloated appearance. The gases produced also cause natural liquids and liquefying tissue to become frothy as it as it pressures as the pressures of the gases within the body increase and fluids are forced to escape from natural orifices such as the nose, mouth, anus and entering the and entering the surrounding environment. The buildup of pressure combined with the loss of integrity to the skin may also cause the body to rupture. Intestinal Arabobotic bacteria transform hemoglobin into sulfemoglobin and other goblin, he just said goblin, and other core pigments. The associated gases which accumulate within the body at this time in transport of another word I can't pronounce throughout. Oh, Dark Souls 1 has just finished downloading. Um, more words. If insects have access, maggots hatch and begin to feed on the body's tissue. Maggot activity typically confines to natural organisms and, massa and masses under the skin. It causes the skin to slip and hair to detach from the skin. Maggots feeding and accumulation of the gases.
surprised. 